morning, everyone. This is Terry with a covered chipboard. This is a little video I'm doing uh, that's been requested by a lot of my viewers. So to give you a little background, welcome if you're new um, and for the new people. We moved from Texas to Indiana about a year and a half, two years ago actually. And then we purchased our, a retirement home last April. We moved in like the last week of April. And so I'm just gonna give you a little quick tour and then we're going to do a craft room tour as well. So I'll put a little um, slideshow in here to give you a before. I have a few pictures, I didn't take tons of them, but this is our living room. Um, we came in and put these built-in bookcases back here in the wall. And this fireplace was like a navy blue, and I've done like a German schmear over top of it. And then we added an additional board to make the mantle stand out further. It's the first fireplace I've ever seen that had um, concrete, these little blue pieces down here are concrete. And then this whole bottom layer is all solid concrete. So it was gonna be really hard to move it, take it out, so we just left it and then added another layer to it to make it stand out further so I could decorate on it. We added all the, the white um, trim up here. It's kind of like a beadboard trim. You can see it a little bit better there. And then we've come in and we uh, added some new tile to the, or slate to the um, hearth there. Put new carpeting in. I'm just gonna kind of pan around the room a little bit. That's our dining room. It's a really small house. We were in about 2,200 square feet when we moved. And um, we also painted all the walls gray and all the trim in house and doors white. Um, and this house is about 1,200 square feet. So we're in almost half the space, but it's very good for us. It's very manageable. Um, this is our dining room and I didn't go all clean up and make everything really super neat for you guys. Sorry. I really love this wall. I'm trying not to shake with the camera, but um, these are old. I love these prints. They're really, I got them off of Amazon. And they're just old um, schematics for some different kitchen utensils. And then we have a nice big window. The house has a lot of natural light in it, which I love. It's, it's really rainy and foggy outside today, so there's not a bunch coming in, so I'll turn all the lights on. The kitchen, these cabinets were like super dark brown, and the countertop was old Formica that was almost black. It was so dark. And then we had, there was no backsplash. So we came in and painted all the cabinets, put new hardware on, um, added new flooring, and then of course painted all the, the trim and everything white, added new backsplash, which is kind of hard to see, but that's what that looks like. And then we have a really nice, the kitchen really has got a lot of cabinet space in it, and it's really, this area is really good for entertaining. You can put a buffet up here really easily. And then my little coffee bar. So that's air, this area. Before we had a four bedroom plus an office and now we're down to three bedrooms. But again, it's very manageable. That's my husband's office. And then we have the bathroom and here's the craft room. I'm not gonna go back into the bedroom, but, or the master. So this room is, we're, I was trying to remember, it's either nine by 10 or 10 by 11. I think it's 10 by 11. So it's a fairly small room. How I managed to get all this in here, I don't know, but it worked out. So I'm just gonna kind of pan around um, this bookshelf right here is new. It's going to house all my extra uh, miniatures. And then down below, I have, um, this is Diamond Dot. And then this little house, it's a, Real good toys, I think, or something like that. Anyway, it's a miniature house, but I've got it holding extra uh, machines and then my steam 
punk clock tower on top. This piece over here, it's two of those nine cubes stacked and the blue bins all have um, crafting supplies in them and then a lot of my collectibles are over in this area. This closet, I took the door off. Again, it's a small room, so it's hard to get in here to show you everything. But um, this is all product blanks and different things that I sell either online or in my Etsy shop or um, at craft fairs. And then again, that's more product and junk that I haven't managed to get through. And a lot of my yarn is stored over there. Then as we come back around here, we have my craft cabinet. And um, I've gone through, I found this wallpaper on Amazon and I just fell in love with it. So you'll see a lot of it throughout the room. But um, a lot of this stuff I don't use every single day. So it's kind of been um, placed on this side of the, the craft cabinet. And then um, here's my desk. And I just got these new um, drawer units, oh, a couple of weeks ago. So it's kind of tidied that all up. But um, this desk was really interesting. The cabinet people that we had make a cabinet in our kitchen, I asked them about um, if they had any spare pieces. And they actually made this for me out of some scraps. So it's a huge table and it was free. They didn't charge me anything for it because it was scrap material. And then I purchased the legs. They're metal legs on Amazon. So I think that whole desk cost me like $35. It's cheap. You, there's no way. That would be a $200 desk if you tried to buy it already made. So I love this desktop. It's Again, it's very large. Then my computer sit here. I actually run a Mac and a PC, and I have my keyboards and mice there. The PC unit is under here, and underneath there I store other machines behind that PC um, that I don't use all the time. And again, excuse me, my sinuses are really bad today. Um, this is mainly Cricut materials right here. And then over here are a lot of materials that I use making my miniature houses. And I I reach for things over here almost on a daily basis. Again, I'm making this to put um, extra houses on. So that's, I've recently cleaned that all up. And then as you can see, it's, it's kind of snug in here. But there's plenty of room to move around. And I really enjoy it. This is my... Um, project cart. So I have projects that are in process on this cart and I can wheel it around if I need to. And then we just put up these shelves, which are going to house all of my smaller miniatures. I still have one more or two of these shelves to put up here further. So I'm going to try to back up now and move around this way. So for this wall, that is, um, this is all my paper for um, printer paper and heavy paper for cards and miniatures. And then these bins are for journaling supplies. This is journaling, washi tape, and these are all my pens. And these are on my supply list. I found them on Amazon and they're just four tall and one wide and really super easy to um, store stuff. They're really clear so I can see what's in them. I love them. And then this is all um, office supplies and um, admin stuff. My, um, oh, what do you call that? Shoot. My scale for shipping goes under here. This is miscellaneous tools. And then this is my X tool machine, which is not hooked up yet. And uh, this is a new printer that I just got, which is a 12 by 12 printer, which I love. And this shelf holds all of my paints. Um, this was one of those carts that you can get that go between um, or go in um, areas in your kitchen that slides in and out. 
and I just took the handle off and it worked out perfect for my paints. And then my Cricut pens and some other miscellaneous things. These are just collectibles right over here. I'm sorry, this it keeps trying to focus on my finger. <laughs> and then this is another cubby with a lot of the stuff I use daily on a daily basis for miniatures. And then I recently purchased these clear drawer units, which I love, and they house all kinds of stuff like, oh, this is my um, label maker and tape for the label maker, shipping materials, shipping materials, snack drawer, because everybody has to have a snack drawer, right? Um, <clears throat> some more packing materials and miscellaneous items that I use for miniatures and that type of thing. This is my backdrop that I just added for um, doing photos of projects. And then we recently hung the TV up here. And then we're back to the beginning. So this again, I'll just kind of pan around. So you can see, I just recently bought these lights that I use when I'm filming. And this little arm holds my camera while I film. Both my crickets are up here. So I was really surprised. Again, there's a lot in this little room, but there's plenty of room to move around. Um, everything is really within easy reaching distance while I'm sitting there working. I can reach whatever I need by just rolling my chair over just a little bit. So I really, really have finally, I think, got it set up to where I like it really well. Um, down in here, this is mostly packaging for orders, um, supplies, miscellaneous project stuff, uh, a lot of stuff that I use, but I didn't have really any place else to put. I'll kind of go through the cabinet. Um, these are embellishments, and I've gone through and labeled them all. Miscellaneous yarn, uh, bead yarn, that type of thing. Same thing here, some more embellishments. And then my vinyl is in here and starting to stack up on this area right here. Then I've got, um, oh, special... Um, inks and um, die cuts, that type of thing. This is all pattern paper, which I think I'm going to wind up moving over there because I don't use pattern paper that much. And then I've got special, um, oh, like wax crayons, pastels, that type of stuff. This is pre-cut or, or print and cut materials. And then this is all miscellaneous stuff. And again, um, this is all my Cricut stuff. And this is a lot of chipboard and craft board, which I use a lot. So I think it's going to move where the pattern paper and the pattern paper is going to move here. That's about the only thing I'm going to change at this point. This is a lot of tools and tape, adhesives, that type of thing all up in here. My Cricut mats go in here in this slot. And then this is all pretty much uh, materials for miniatures and that type of thing. Card stock and more, um, oh, there's paint trays and texture paste, adhes adhesives. And then up here we have um, my, um, oh, at the very top, it's my embossing folders. And then I've added, this little drawer was up here, and I needed some place to put these extra types of pens, so I found these little things on Amazon. Anything that I mentioned that I found on Amazon, it's in my, on the blog, and it's listed under supplies. So I've got those, added those up there, and then all of my um, inks and stains are there. This is some miscellaneous greenery, pens and pencils. Um, hot glues, hot glue gun, uh, clay, and then some straws that I use for different projects and some more embellishments at the bottom. 
So, um, and then back here behind my computer screen um, is my other printer. Um, this is my um, sublimation printer. And my shipping label printer is back there in the corner. The drawers hold just miscellaneous items. And then my other everyday printer is down here on the floor. Um, I really don't have another place to put that, but it works out okay for me. It's not in the way of anything. So, you know, you do what you have to do sometimes. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my Petite Properties. They have a, a series called Cobblestone Snicket. And I have it in 148, which I haven't made. And I this is the same thing, but it's in 176. So I started it, and I had the one finished at this point. It's a cute little house. And just to give you an idea of size. And a lot of people think, oh gosh, I could never do that. It's really hard, but it's not. It's not really hard to work on it at all. And they work up fairly quick. But these are the other kits in the series. And when I get finished, these all line up together in a row. And um, then I'm going to make a base that will fit across these two shelves that will hold all of the houses. So that's a project for this year. I, I want to try to get through all of these this year coming up. And then I also have some more of this size houses for um, our craft along projects. I think there's two in there. And so there we go. And that's about it, really. That's, um, oh, this is just miscellaneous stuff behind the door. I'll show you, but it's kind of messy. I just have some different things back here. Some of my diamond painting. Just because there wasn't any place else to put it. And so that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked the little tour. If you have questions about anything, just give me a yell. And um, if not, then I will see you next time. Have a great day. Be crafty and have some fun. Bye.